obviously that's our focus going down there this week is this is a business trip and and we're looking to go down there and compete and play as well as we can to win the game and uh, you know that's the goal so. I don't think anybody outworks both of those guys. So um, they just they pra they have tremendous practice habits. Um, you know they're both probably taking too many reps right now, but um, it's really kind of a result of where we are from a depth standpoint more than more than anything. But um, I really believe they'd even be more productive if they were playing fewer snaps. Um, both guys are they're taking a number of snaps on special teams, and um, they're really both of those guys are sideline to sideline players. So. Um, you know, uh, as a coach, you always feel comfortable knowing that even uh, even when they're not 100% mentally, um, they're going to make plays just because they're so darn active. They don't turn the ball over, and, and they create turnovers. I think they're plus 11. They're second in the conference in turnover margin. Usually there's a, you know, of all the stats that you track, that's probably the greatest. Outside of scoring offense and scoring defense, turnover margin is probably the biggest indicator in terms of overall team success. They do a great job of protecting the ball and, and, and creating turnovers for the offense. They do a great job of uh, scoring when the ball's in the red zone. I think they're scoring almost 90% of the time in the red zone. They're rushing over 200 yards a game. Um, so even though they're, they're, uh, they're, they're what you would call a spread offense, their, their philosophy is to run the ball first and, and try and get the big hit off of the play action because people are committing so many guys to the run. So we're going to have to tackle very well. We're going to have to protect the football in, in an environment right now that they're potentially calling for some rain. So that's always a concern. Uh, you know, turnover margin is always a concern, and even more so when, when the weather is, is um, you know, when it's raining out. So. Um, we got to go down there and we got to play a, a great football game to win. Obviously, I'm sure I'll see a lot of familiar faces, uh, a lot of people that are still there on the staff and support people, you know, I have a great relationship with. But, uh, you know, this isn't going to be a reunion of sorts for Joe Trainer. This is going to be the Rhode Island Rams going down south and, and trying to win a conference game, our first conference game of the year. So uh, we're going we're gonna to have to play a great game to do that, but I know our players are excited.